Chapter 4 now. After we've uh, visited Grofheim and discovered it uh, kinda in flames. Yeah, not so good. We're actually not that far from uh, Grofheim over here. Although we haven't moved very far. What did I tell you, Rook? I don't remember what voice I gave to this guy. He does look kind of crazy, so... The man has a crazed look about him. Yeah, see? See? He stands, axe pointed in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. And before I move on, let me just make sure that my video is actually recording. Do-do-do-do. It is good. All right. Echo, you son of a bitch! Uh-oh. Oh, did I make a bad choice last time. Remember what I said? Think careful, carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Echo walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. Well, crap. Alright, um... Well, Ivor is available. Uh, let's go ahead and have Eggel instead of uh, um, I mean Ivor instead of Eggel. All right, let's try it. Hopefully, we won't regret this move, but we probably will. Oh, yay! We're surrounded again. Alright, um... So let's see, what do we have? Uh, Thrasher... Which is the same as Mogan, right? Yeah. Okay. Thrasher Veteran. We've got, uh, an Archer. Raider Shieldsman, another Thrasher, a Raider, and a Bowmaster. Bird of Prey, 100% to hit, range 7 tiles. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, okay, let's see. So... Let's turn our flags back on. Um, you get over here for now. Just, just sit over there. Thank you. You come over here. There we go. All right, clump everyone up together. They don't have any uh, area of effect abilities, so... I'm hoping that I'm not going to regret this, but I'm sure I will again. Uh, I've got weak morale. Well, poop. Alright, um, so we're starting with uh, Hogan. Um, he's four out of five willpower, so it's probably a good idea to uh, just uh, rest and regain some right now. Let them start moving in. We got some bonus... Uh, um, uh, defense out of this whole thing, so let's go ahead and keep resting up a bit. I could move you in. Uh, what is your special ability again? Battering Ram, that's right. Now let's just keep resting. Just one point of damage there. Um, can you attack anyone. Not right now. Okay, so Rain of Arrows. What right there? No, it's probably not a good idea, really. I'm trying to think exactly where they might come in. Well, that guy's probably going to move straight forward, so let's actually do that. Yep! Eh, didn't do a whole lot. Uh, now you, on the other hand, uh, we can go ahead and use a little bit of uh, willpower, get some extra damage. He 
these guys come in. Could do four damage, but uh, let's go ahead and do some armor damage. <laughs> Bloody flail on him, not so good. Um, we got Hogan now going, so let's go ahead and do some extra armor damage. Well, that's not so good. Hogan's almost dead, which is kind of what I should have expected. Let's see. I suppose I can just start moving people in a little bit closer now. Let's do that. I guess we'll go with Bloody Flail. And you. I imagine that one of these archers is gonna get in close enough to uh, attack Hogan and take him out. Yep. Yep, I kinda thought that would happen. Alright, um... You are... Good as dead. Three damage there. All right. Um, you. We need to do some uh, good damage on the, one of these guys. Can't do a whole lot. Um. This will stick with. Working on these guys. Eh, probably should have taken. Ooh! Ow! Not nice. Actually. Move there. And mark prey on this guy. There we go. Took him out. I do indeed like Mark Prey. Okay, um... Thread Needle. I wonder if I could get somewhere that would do that a bit more, but... No. I can't. That's... Not good enough. Uh, if I if I could have swapped these two positions, then I could have done her. But uh, actually, I suppose I could move up here. I do kind of need to start working on these archers. So let's do that. I suppose. Yep. Extra armor damage. Let's see. Um, what about... I guess we should probably start using Bloody Flail. It's probably a better option. Um, guy's 8-9, eight, eight, the other guy's 7-9. Probably better to work on this guy. Moving in, where is she going to attack? Eh, oddly, I kind of thought as much. You, let's see, what does Battering Ram do again? That's not going to be uh, that good. Let's go ahead and just attack. Five damage, bump that up a bit, and take her out. Excellent. Yeah, odd life's going down. She is never going to be uh, promoted. <laughs> That seems pretty obvious now. Um, all right, Rook. Um, I guess no. Let's uh, don't have enough to mark prey. Let's go ahead and use that. Oops. Mark prey on him. Not sure what. Uh, let's see. Does two armor damage and all allies within range automatically? Okay. So it's just one or two armor damage. Well, that's still probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. 
take him out. And who is she attacking? Yeah. Mogan there. Alright, uh, let, uh, let us get you... Hmm. Well, I suppose we can uh, move you up here and work on her. Six damage. Can we bump that up to eight to take her out? Yes, we can. Fantastic. All right. That's good. Of course, now Alette is going to get smacked in the... Oh, no, no, that was uh, um, Hogan. All right. Uh, or Mogan. Whichever. All right, that's not going to be very good. Let's, uh, let's go with Bloody Flail on him. Just do the one, so... That. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, they're kind of my cannon fodder. I probably should have brought uh, uh, Eggle along. I think he probably would have been a bit better. Pump that up a bit. Lots of armor damage. To attack back. Uh, let's see. Rook, can you get in there? It looks like you can. Um, I don't have enough to thread needle, so let's go ahead and use some of that. Or mark prey, whatever. Let's go ahead and attack him. Let's not going to get an attack, but uh, we'll take him out. Alrighty, let. Uh, sorry, but you have to go ahead and attack another human. Um. Let's see, two, let's go ahead and use some of the rest of that. Armor damage. Okay, and finally, he is dead. Alright, so, not that great. Could have been better. Hate to admit it, Rook, but you're right, we can't stay here. If we're not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dredge find their way in. There's nobody defending these walls. You spot Alette looking at one of the thugs. She cocks her head to the side. Uh, Dad, I think he's still alive. Well, quick, kill her, girl. I mean, uh, I guess you should save him. Ivor lifts, lifts him to his feet by his tunic. He groans from the pain. Why did Echo try to kill us? He, he's a... Damned lunatic! Figure that, yet? Why would Frostfeller's chieftain put a madman in charge of his guards? That what he told you? He never put Echol in charge? As soon as those gates were shut, Echol walked into the Great Hall and sliced open the chieftain like a narwhal. Saw it myself. Echol wasn't a captain. Look at him. He was just playing us. Can't say I'm too surprised. This whole place is a death trap. Where can we go? Well, my suggestion would be to kill Echol and uh, um, recruit all the remaining soldiers. By now, the dredge have already flooded the south, I'm sure. Wormtoe's the only thing that makes sense across the wastes. I might know someone there who can help us. And the dredge probably won't follow out us out over the wastes. They didn't in the Great Wars. Because it's a death sentence, food's already running low. I, I know where Echo keeps his supplies. I'll tell you. If you take me with you. Eh, sure. Works for me. Um, actually, that's a good question. What's the catch? No catch. I want out of here as much as you do. Just never had anywhere to go. I'm not the only one. See? See? Good idea. Let's go find Echo, kill him, and recruit everyone else. Get the supplies, and there are plenty of fighters who are desperate to get out of here. That might solve a few problems. Um, it's worth the risk. If nothing else, Eccles is going to feel it when his food suddenly vanishes. What's your name? Onaf. Why do you... Just want to know whose face I'm going to break if things go wrong. Ah, good idea. <laughs> Ha ha.
Alright, well, uh, let's take a quick look at our heroes before we, uh, advance any further. Um, yep, 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 some people are, uh, out of... <laughs> Hogan has never killed anyone. Figures. Oh, excellent, she's ready to promote. I'm so happy. Um... Boost those two. Who else? Oh, he's ready to promote. Fantastic. Yes. Does not leave us with much, but let's go ahead and uh, increase that. That's good. And she is ready to promote. Yeah, that's going to take all of my uh, renown, but that's okay. Fine with that. Let's uh, boost that and boost that. All right. Um, let us actually put Ivor in front. And let's get Eggle in there as well. Take Mogan out since he's already been promoted. Um, we can give this to... Let's see, what does this do again? Plus two strength. Ooh, ooh I like that. Um, <laughs> Ivor. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Market. I have no um, renown, so... I can't really get anything. Let's see. Studded pommel. Heavy pommel adds a little weight to your own weapon. Knock, knock, uh, knock back on strength attacks of 5. Serpent earrings. 10% dodge strength attacks. And 20% dodge strength attacks. That is whether the earring contain, earrings contain some subtle magic or not. Those who believe that believe tend to get a, tend to be a little more agile than before. And an engraving on this charm reads a fleeting thought may be more important than you think. Well, I have no renown left, so four days of supplies. That's pretty bad. Well, let's head over to the supply uh building. Onef leads you to an inconspicuous building. This is them he says to the handful of guards in, inside who lower their weapons. Oh, this is them, he says to the handful of guards inside who lower their weapons. In a concealed basement, you find an enormous store of food and sundries. Grab what you can, he mutters. Ah, oh, that's a recipe for disaster, but I think we kind of need it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Hauling the entire store of supplies out of a basement takes more time than you expect. At each moment, you imagine Eccles' men rounding the corner. Yells in the distance, mark the fear that... Mark that fear of becoming a reality. You get the others out and emerge from the building in time to meet them in battle. Plus 140 supplies, and we've got Onef. I cannot see what he is, but let's replace uh, Hogan. Um... Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. So he's got run through one. Run through two spaces, two break to each unit in the way, plus normal strength damage to target. We've got a raider with shield wall, archer, archer, archer. Thrasher with Bloody Flail. He's someone that I want to take out uh, as soon as I can, probably. Uh, there's another Archer. Raider. Another Thrasher Veteran. And a Raider Shieldsman. Stonewall 1. Okay. Uh, let's see. 10, 11. 11, 12. 12, 7. He's 9, 9. Alright. Um... The bulk of the archers are here. So it might be a good idea to concentrate our um, forces over here. Let's see. 
get back there. Let's think. Is this going to be a good one? It does kind of leave uh, uh, him exposed. Uh, let's What was his ability? Run through one. Let's go with this. Okay, now the question is, do I just advance up and start attacking? You know what? Might be a good idea to just do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do knockback on him. And let's go ahead and bump that up. Okay. That moves him out of the way. there. Wait for those guys to start moving in. Let's see. Run through. Okay, now let's just end his turn. I'd like to have been able to uh, rest, but oh well, not, not much you can do about that. Do that, and all right, good. Focusing on that guy. Really done a good job on his armor damage already. Um, what's she going after him? Okay. Right, let's get Rook up here now. And we've got some bonus uh, um, on everyone there. You can do six damage. I could bump that up to nine, but... It might be better to just eliminate his armor entirely. Wait. Shouldn't that have... Did I not use his... I must not have used his... Ah, well. Okay. That's the way that goes. Wait, what? Alright, no, no, uh, okay. There. Ah, uh, no. Maybe I should have moved over one. No, I'll keep that in mind next time. Um. Lots of armor damage to her. Really doing a lot of. Uh, um, okay, I can't do uh, that, so. Oh, yeah, we can just kill her outright. Nice. And he's ready to promote. Alright, we should be able to kill him outright. Nope, not quite. Oh, I was looking at it wrong. Alright, um. Just do the nine. Hopefully he's not gonna... Nope, he... This other guy gets in close. Dang it. Uh, Eggle's not gonna do so good, but, um... Actually, let's do this. We can do run through... Here. Excellent. Ah, I kinda like that ability. Of course, now he's back here in the, um... Fairly exposed. Eh, Eggle's not doing so hot there. Um, let's move her over here. Just go ahead and take him out before he can do anything more. Okay. 
And Rook. Let's get you up here. Mark Prey on him. Excellent. Let's turn that off for a second so I can see a little bit better. Okay. All right, Alette, um, you're fairly well protected now, so let's actually move you here. Thread Needle. I think that is going to hurt him, but I think that's worth it. Let's do that. Yep, it did. It's okay. Eggle's going down. All right, let's see. Take her out entirely. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I got a lot of uh, extra um, willpower I need to start using. Let's get you back here. Bump that up a bit. Take her out. And I think she's about to go down. Yep. Unfortunate. Okay, so... Can you... I can't see if you can... Attack them. Alright, let's see. Uh, exertion is three, so let's go ahead and do that. Lots of armor damage. Very good. Ow. Okay, I can attack either of them from there, so let's keep her out of the, uh, out of danger. Oh, need to do, uh... A lot of armor damage to uh, that guy, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Ow. Move you back here. Six. Um, yeah, we'll just do six. is in really bad shape now. Let's see if we can take this guy out. We got the one exertion, so... Let's just do the four damage. Did he do that? Yeah, he protected himself. Okay. Um... have enough to uh, do anything, so I'm going to move over here, attack that guy, I guess. Yep. Wow, he is still standing. I am, I am really impressed there, Rook. Alright, you, I need to get you out of the way, so let's move you back here. Attack him. Six damage. Take him out. Lovely. And now Rook is going down. Damn it. Alright, who yeah, you got? You are dead. Actually, I probably should have moved on the other guy. Oh, well. Well, no, he can still get over here. That's good. Boost that up a bit. Get back there. And Ivor can do... There we go.
All right. Uh, so had a lot of people down in that one, though. Only got 11 renown. Before long, the last of the stores is cleaned out. As you're turning to leave, a valuable-looking necklace with a deep green stone catches your eye, and you decide to keep it for yourself. Ooh, plus 35 fighters. Onuf leads you and his trusted fighters out of the city before more men show up. Bodies and dredge fill the fields in front of Frostfeller. You consider the best way to leave. I gain an item that went by too fast. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and end the episode here. We'll pick it up in the next one as we uh, consider leaving. Take a look at our heroes first, and then uh, check out the market, and um, then get on. Get on out of here. See you then.